Building that, probably building that, it's building that. We're going to be looking at a homeowner in the center that helps save FedEx driver who collapsed into it. FedEx says its drivers average between 150 and 175 stops per day. Dang, and one stop for this FedEx driver could have been his last, if not for a couple of good Samaritans who knew what to do. He dropped his packages and then nearly dropped dead from a heart attack. Wow. You're about to watch a routine FedEx delivery turn into a nightmare as the driver drops off some packages. Oh, are you okay? He suddenly collapses. The stunned homeowner comes to his aid. A neighbor across the street also sees what's happening and runs over to help. They start CPR. Yo, like that man just... He just set the package down. He just to a nightmare down. as the driver drops off some packages. Oh, are you okay? He suddenly collapses. The stunned homeowner comes to his aid. A neighbor across the street also sees what's happening and runs over to help. They start CPR and call 911. Then first responders in Bridgeville, Pennsylvania arrive and take over. How long you guys do a chest compression? They place the stricken FedEx driver on a gurney and rush him to the hospital. The diagnosis? Cardiac arrest. So, did he make it? He sure did. How you doing, man? The FedEx guy. Man. This exclusive video shows 43-year-old Adonis Whitner being reunited for the first time with the two strangers who saved his life. My girlfriend calls him my angels in disguise. Mark McCullough says he will never forget that awful moment Adonis collapsed at his doorstep. I called 911, as panicked as I might have been, right? I was doing my best to feed them information. Devlin Robinson, a state senator, had just pulled into his driveway when he saw his neighbor dealing with the crisis. I dropped everything, ran across the street, and I saw uh, Adonis laying there, not breathing. Adonis's recovery is so amazing. The three men were able to joke about getting back together. I was expecting him to bring a package. <laughs> Adonis says he remembers nothing about his collapse. His reaction to seeing that video? Kind of uh, shocked, like, that happened to me? Wait, like, that was me? And then looking really close, like, yeah, that's me. Oh, are you okay? That's me. Donis Whitner's doctors want to implant a defibrillator in his chest. He set up a GoFundMe account to help pay for those bills. For more information about that, just go over to InsideEdition.com. Dang, bro. That man just had like 150 stops, bro. That's insane, bro. 150 stops in one day, bro. You know how I think? It's like going to like 150 cribs in one day, bro. That's a lie. I ain't gonna lie, bro. They be working them people overtime for no apparent reason, bro. They should do, like, at least, like, a mandatory, like, 50 stops per day, bro. Half, bro. Because if they do 100, bro, that's a lot. Ain't gonna lie. They still get full pay. But, shoot, bro. They should get that man about, like, two weeks off of work, bro. Um, Vacation time, bro. Send this man on vacation, bro. Whatever he need, bro. Man, that's it with a big catch on a different one. Jerk. <laughs> I hate nice girls. If they so much as say hello, it stays on my mind. If they return my text, my heart races. The day one calls me, I know I'll look at my call history and grin. But I know in my heart, that's just them being nice.